You know Katie Maloney Schwartz from the popular Bravo reality show Vanderpump Rules. And on the show, Katie shares just about everything in her personal life, but there is something that she's kept hidden and she's sharing it with us today. My name is Katie Maloney. You may know me from Vanderpump Rules on Bravo. I almost was not because I had a near-death experience. It was just a few of us hanging out. I had like a little buzz. And we said, why don't we take this bottle of wine up on the roof and take pictures? We sit down on this massive skylight and we're taking some selfies. And then I felt it sort of dip in a little bit. Seconds later, it broke. The two of us plunged 25 feet through the center of the staircase and then hit the handrail and then landed on the stairs. The next thing I remember is I'm in a hospital bed. I had broken my jaw, my collarbone, and the majority of my ribs on my right side. Sustained brain injury, subdural hematoma, which was the scariest part. I had my jaw wired shut for six weeks. I couldn't raise my arms, so my mom had to be washing my hair and helping me bathe. The physical injuries, while painful, I healed. I'm fine, I can move. I have a little tiny scar on my face, but up here, has been a, harder to, to heal. I was so happy and grateful that I survived with just minor injuries. Even though it was scary at times, life is really awesome and really short. So tell the people in your life that you love them, do what makes you happy, live a full, complete life now. Katie joins us now along with her husband, Tom. I want to. Thank you both for being here, mainly for opening up about this, because it sounds like in listening to that, that this really changed the way you view the world. Oh, 100%. My thinking of everything was completely rewired after that, and getting used to that was difficult. Are you at a better place now with everything? Oh, definitely. I, I mean, I did... Once I, once I feel, uh, healed physically and I came you know, back to work and I was just getting back into my life, I. I those things started to come up, those feelings, those emotions, the, the survivor's guilt, those things started affecting me. And, and now, looking back, I've, I've decided to embrace the fact that I'm okay and I survived and it could have been worse and not mm -hmm. to feel guilt or confusion and, and deny myself of having a full life. So I've, I feel like I've come a long way and I'm not as triggered or I've gotten control over my emotions more than I have in the past. Yeah. And you know, we always talk on the show about how time almost always heals these physical wounds, but it sounds like the emotional toll that this has taken has yeah. been one that's much more difficult to heal, and I, I know it's even affected your all's marriage to the point where <laughs> potentially looked like it could be the end of your relationship. This happened about a year before we started dating. So, like, from a physical standpoint, she was mostly healed. But, um, you know, from a neurological and emotional standpoint, she still had a lot to deal with. And, you know, we did have a lot of issues. I mean, I, I don't have a baseline because I didn't know her well before the incident, but still, she would tell me she was, she was more easily agitated, hyper-emotional, you know, passive-aggressive, just like kind of, she didn't have great control over her emotions. And you probably didn't but, really empathize or fully understand that initially, right? Well, in the back of my mind, I, I did take this into consideration as a factor, but like, how do you open up a line of communication about that? I didn't want to sit her down and be like, listen, um, your personality sucks because you fell on your you. head. <laughs> I, did, I just, no, 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 uh, but you know, um, you're awesome now, and I love you, you hey. She always was awesome. Now she's even more awesome. Thanks. Yeah, no, that, that's what I, I was looking for, kind of this nice happy bow, tie it all together, <laughs> because I mean, at the end of the day, you know, as an ER doctor, you start to talk about when you look at falls and, and talk about 20 feet and 30 feet, right around there, you, you start to think about the possibility of death. And the fact that you're here today is a yeah. testament to... Yes. Yeah. Thank you. you can catch more of them on Vanderpump Rules. It airs on Mondays at 9 Eastern and Pacific.